Alright trainers, it's your fire type Pokemon gym leader here, Nitro Hot Fire. Today this is part 3 of everything we need to do to fix Pokemon Go. If you haven't seen part 1 and 2, it's going to be somewhere around here. Go ahead and watch those and then come back to this video and see the other 5 things we need to do to fix it. Let's hop right in. This is thing number 11 that needs to be fixed by Pokemon Go. There should actually be some type of reward for your Pokemon when you defeat a gym. Now, when you go to the Pokemon gym and you fight it with your six Pokemon, you make it all the way through. The Pokemon that remain alive or non-fainted or conscious, I guess would be a better word. Those Pokemon should actually get some type of experience reward or maybe a even the candy. That would be dope. For right now, all you get is trainer experience points for if you win and you either lower the prestige of, wait, lower the prestige of the enemy's gym or raise the prestige of your own gym. This will actually make it even better for trainers who have rare Pokemon that are very difficult to find because they can use those Pokemon in gym battles and actually have a reason to power their Pokemon up without going out and trying to find like a Snorlax to get more candy or to level it up because like Snorlax is rare uh, like there's a whole bunch of other stuff out there but the whole point of the matter is if you have Pokemon that's not really in your area this will be a dope way to power it up now this necessarily wouldn't be a fix it's more of something that would be kind of cool to add to the game wouldn't it be cool if you can get some type of reward other than a trophy for the trophies that you earn in the game? Let's say if you become a bug catcher, you actually get the bug catcher outfit. That way the people around you, when you're holding a gym, you can actually have your character dressed in a different way, which will bring a different uniqueness to the game. And I think that will be something really dope. Niantic, fix it. Another issue is the fact that only generation Pokemon are available currently. Something that you guys could actually do in order to fix this is maybe even release a generation every month. Now, what this would enable the players to do, it would enable them to have a better play time because right now you actually change the spawn spots that now more people have the potential to catch all the Pokemon. Now, I'm pretty sure people have probably made their way through the game or the Pokedex rather very efficiently now. It's time for some new Pokemon. It's, it's way too long and a lot of people are dying off the game. So Niantic, fix it. Now this isn't really something that needs to be fixed, but my answer, you really need to up your business model a little bit because there have been a couple people out there who have found legendary Pokemon and caught them, specifically Articuno, and Niantic has removed that Pokemon from their account. And apparently they just wanted to supposedly be fair and whatnot. But uh, this is Niantic's official statement, and it looks like some bull to me. Personally, if this was my game and someone caught the Pokemon fair and square and the mistake was on my end, I would let them keep it. Especially considering the fact that the Pokemon CP level wasn't even that high. I mean, 1500 is not really nothing to bat an eye at. So, Niantic, y'all need to fix that. Now, this is pretty stupid in my opinion. The whole withholding legendary Pokemon thing. What on earth is the point of holding legendary Pokemon basically hostage? Um, for instance, we can't catch legendary Pokemon until Niantic gives us the ability to catch Pokemon. And when we do find the legendary Pokemon, Niantic takes them away because they weren't meant to be out there in the first place. What's up with that, Niantic? Uh, I think it would be something quite better to do if there was some type of prerequisite that you had to do in order to get a legendary Pokemon. Let's say if you wanted to catch a Moltres, or if Moltres was on the list of legendary Pokemon for you to catch, what you could do is, uh, after you catch maybe 2,000 flying type Pokemon and 1,000 fire type Pokemon, then you would now have the ability, or you would rather be worthy, to see Moltres. 
Wouldn't that be dope? I mean, come on, Niantic. That's something that was simple to do. Y'all need to fix that. That has been the end of How to Fix Pokemon Go. It's your boy, Nitro Hot Fire here. Other videos are down below if you haven't seen part one and part two. Go check those out as well as share this video with your fellow Pokemon Go players on your social media platforms. This is part three. Make sure you share part one and two as well. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow on all your favorite social media. And that's all for today. I'm out. Your fire type gym leader is gone. Peace.